have you guys and our viewers are really really excited to hear from you guys if i could ask go back to darren again you've been around the world I and mean, you've been to a lot of different different places you met a lot of young people um i'm sure different people have a different issues you know in tower hanlebo we live we have lots of different different issues and especially in when you have no schools at all for six weeks or seven weeks um if you could share your experience around the globe you've been to yeah, you know, I've experienced it as an athlete and as a coach, so I've had quite a lot of good experience. And it's just, you know, when you go to different countries, it's obviously different races, different cultures and different environments. So it's quite nice to see how you're respected in certain parts of the world. It's um, Name two countries you've been to. Uh, oh, most countries in Europe have been to Azerbaijan, Thailand, China, America, Australia. So quite a fair few. Um, but yeah, I think some of the cultural aspects on how adults are treated and not treated well is, is quite a big uh, a big outlook in life and the respect issue within that and also with their peers and their other friends and how they interact. In in UK at the moment we have had a problem with like acid attacks. It's a new thing coming up is really a lot of uh, things happening. Acid attacks, you've got um, stabbing the knife crime going up, a gun crime going up and gangs and all this kind of stuff. Do you find this kind of issues in other places of the Europe? I've not obviously experienced it myself or, or witnessed it, so you know I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Um, obviously, it's, it's the acid thing is quite a new sort of craze at the moment. It's, it's not very good, but you know I think within sport and when I sort of got into boxing, it was because uh, I had an older brother. There's quite a big age difference. I mean, mum and dad sort of talked to like a youth club and got into boxing. And that was mainly to get them off of stopping getting him into trouble and getting him involved in that kind of issues and because he was a lot older than me I kind of looked up to me big brother even though you grow up and you think he's a bit of an idiot at that age you sort of look up to your older siblings and uh, the main reason he got into that because my mum didn't want to hang around the street corners and I'm not saying that can escalate into that but it, some of the lot people he hand around with and even the kids I went to school with did get into a lot of silly and petty crime and if it wasn't for sport I mainly boxing, then I could have easily gone down that kind of route because you get bored and you get you, do. you get bored easy, especially if you're on some holidays. You've got six weeks, you're with your friends. What do you do for six weeks? Your mum and dad are at work. You're stuck in the house by yourself, or you go down a park to meet your friends, and it's just a natural thing. You're you're a young adult. You're curious in life, and you try new things. And trying new things is a good thing in some elements, and in, in some aspects, it's it's quite you could experience the wrong environment and get involved in the wrong environment and the wrong people and but I said it can easily escalate into things you don't really want young kids to. So. Thank you very much.